As the people of Westeros venture forth beyond their lands, seeking wealth and opportunity, most choose safety over profit, remaining close to home, sailing along the narrow and summer seas, using well-established trade routes for their ventures. Yet further east, beyond Sotorios and south of eastern Essos, the chance to earn a true fortune is found in the Jade Sea, where travelers face new and terrifying dangers, but also the potential for tremendous wealth by trading with the cities and realms of the Far East. But even so, those brave enough to make the journey often only go as far as Karth and the island of Kal, located along the Jade Gates. Karth is an ancient city ruled by the powerful pureborn class presiding in the Hall of a Thousand Thrones, and is also home to the famed warlocks of the House of the Undying. The city acts as a crossroads of civilizations, where eastern and western traders can exchange goods, making the Karthine extremely wealthy as intermediaries between them. Those few western travelers who wish to continue further east then sail their ships along the Jade Sea trade route, passing through the Jade Gates towards Asabad, for which little is known, though it is likely a successor state to the ancient patrimony of Hirkun, along with Kayakayanaya, Bayasabad, and Shamidiana. The journey then continues towards the city of Yin, capital of the Golden Empire of Yi Ti, passing by the Isle of Whips, sometimes used as a way station for slavers. Yi Ti is where travelers can find silks, spices, and other exotic goods, which can be sold for a fortune in the West. The Golden Empire is known to many as the land of a thousand gods and a hundred princes, ruled by one god emperor, and has a long history, dating back thousands of years to the Empire of the Dawn, which fell during the Long Night. Yi Ti then rose out of the chaos and has been ruled by a number of dynasties leading into the modern day, where the throne is contested by three self-proclaimed emperors. In the 17th, Azur Emperor from Yin, the first Orange Emperor out of Trader Town, and the 69th Yellow Emperor of Carcosa. The winds of the Far East then send ships to the island of Lang, located near the Golden Empire, and originally populated by a people known as the Langi, who grow tall and thin keeping to themselves and their traditional ways, closing off the island to outsiders for many years. Said to be home to 10,000 tigers and 10 million monkeys, Leng is also known to have vast underground cities and tunnel systems, believed to be inhabited by dark gods referred to as the Old Ones. Eventually, they started allowing visitors, yet even then the god empress would occasionally massacre all foreigners on the island to appease her gods with four great purges known to have occurred before Emperor Jar Har of Yi Ti invaded and conquered them putting an end to the mass killings. Lang once again gained independence roughly 100 years before Aegon's conquest, re-establishing the god empress as their ruler. However, the descendants of Yi-Ti migrants now populated the northern two-thirds of the island, having established the cities of Leng Yi and Leng Ma, while the native Leng Yi retreated to the south and the city of Turani. In order to keep the peace and a sense of balance in the political system, the god empress chooses one husband of Leng Yi descent and the other of Yi-Ti to command their land army and naval fleet. The Jade Sea trade route then moves south, but if one were to continue north, beyond Leng, they would find the city of Jinki. Once home to the Maroon Emperors of Yi Ti, it was established to act as a defensive barrier against reavers from the Shadowlands. South of these mountainous Shadowlands is Ashai, the easternmost city of the Jade Sea. Home to sorcerers, spellsingers, aromancers, and warlocks, Ashai is a realm shrouded in mystery where all dark arts and religious practices are accepted. Although food and fresh water is scarce, they are rich in precious stones and gold, trading them for everything else they require. As a result, those brave and lucky enough to make the journey as far east as a shy and survive, return home with tremendous wealth. The winds of the Jade Sea trade route then lead ships on a journey west, traveling past the Manticore Isles, named for the manticores that populate these lands, and the crescent-shaped island of Marahai, with two smaller volcanic islands off its coast. Ships then sail to the port city of Zabad, on the coast of the Isle of Elephants, named after the animals which populate the land, and ruled by the Shan from a palace made of ivory. Now in the final stretch of the Jade Sea trade route, travelers can stop at Port Morok, a trade city along the southern coast of Great Morok, the largest island in the known world. Then continuing on along its coast, past the cinnamon-rich islands of the Cinnamon Straits, and towards Lesser Morok and Vahar, which has grown wealthy from the spice trade. Finally, there is the city of Pharos, where inhabitants worship a stone cow, the last city on the Jade Sea trade route, located near the Jade Gates where the journey began. Although travel to the Far East provides an opportunity for great riches, the long sea voyage presents many dangers, with ships from Pentos, even under the best conditions, believed to take two years to reach the Jade Sea and return. In a 
condition, the distance between eastern and western lands, and infrequency of their interactions, means travelers are susceptible to many forms of disease, sometimes transporting those illnesses with them, spreading terrible plagues like the Grey Death, which was brought to Pentos on a trade ship from the Jade Sea, killing over 2,000 people. As a result, few make the journey east, with even fewer documenting their travels to provide accurate reports, with even the full size of the Jade Sea not yet discovered. However, maesters of Westeros do have some information collected over the years, with some considering the Jade Compendium, written by Colloquo Votar of Volantis, as the best source of information for the islands and port cities of this eastern ocean. In addition, there are the works of Lomas Longstrider, the famed adventurer who traveled as far as Yi-Ti and Leng, using what he learned to write the books Wonders and Wonders Made by Man. There are also the voyages of Corlys Valerion, known as the Sea Snake, famous for traveling in a ship by the same name, journeying to Karth, E.T., and Leng, documented in the book The Nine Voyages, written by Maester Mathis. Corlys was so successful in his ventures that for a time, the wealth he brought back made House Valerion the richest family in Westeros. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Sir Tony of House Jake, Knight of Darkness and Light, Hades of Skagos, Master of Apothecary and Hallucinations, Ty Jillian Fraser, Sean Dragonclaw Blackfire of the Golden Company, and Craig Coldheart Snow of the Second Sons Mercenary Company. You all make these videos possible, and I am eternally grateful for your support. If you would like to help Civilization X, and gain early access to videos, access to the Patreon-only series Heroes of Lore and Legend, and vote on future content to be produced, you can click on the Patreon link in the description box below, and pledge any amount you'd like on a monthly basis. Or, if you'd prefer to make a single donation, you can use the PayPal link also in the description below. And please be sure to like and subscribe, and click on the links to see more.